My Cool Inventions, where you vote to make or break an inventor's dream. With your host, ACOS the Solutionist. Now, here's ACOS. Good day. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network, the program about inventors, innovators. They come onto this program and they pitch their products to you guys, and you guys vote. Thumbs up or thumbs down. You guys decide who has the $100 million product. I'm your host, Akos Jankura. My co host, Andrew Jankura. We got to switch that to musician to incredible musician. <laughs> One of the best jazz uh, keyboard players in the face of the earth, right here beside me. Played with the greats. He's, uh, you know, good guy. This is my brother, too. So, and, and not to mention, we've actually spent over 10,000 hours uh, on trade shows pounding away with gadgets and inventions. So, when it comes to promoting inventions, recognizing good inventions, uh, this man's an expert. So, you know what? Remember the guy we had? Were you here with the Decatex guy? Wayne came on from the Tampa Bay Invention Council. Were you here that show? No, no, I didn't. I the guy was crazy. The guy had a new thing. It's a Bluetooth the keyboard deal, okay? Really? It's like an interface that you hold with one hand. All right. So, okay. so it's not like you have a keyboard, like a QWERTY keyboard. He invents this new inputting device that's Bluetooth. You can hold in one hand. You can type numbers and letters and the whole thing. So you can operate it with a single hand. Wow. And it's Bluetooth. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's a fantastic invention. I mean, he's reinventing the way we input data into things like our smartphones, like our computers, all with one hand. Now, Wayne mm. had a great pitch, and I'm going to tell you the vote in a second when he was here. But first, so let's listen to Wayne's pitch on the Deca text. You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it. Pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Okay, well, technology changes at a breathtaking rate. But one thing that hasn't changed in the past 149 years, and that's the QWERTY keyboard. But now with wearable technology and virtual reality, it's impossible or at least very inconvenient to use or to touch type on one of those devices. Uh, and all of those skills you had for touch typing are lost. Um, Looking at a keyboard distracts us from what's important. And so we developed the Decatex, the one-handed Bluetooth keyboard. It's an easy way to text and touch type without looking. It provides every keystroke from a standard laptop keyboard with only one or two fingers, or most with only one or two fingers. It connects with your phone or tablet or PC to make it easy to run a, a PowerPoint presentation, change pages, alt tab to a browser, type in a web address, uh, and control your devices remotely. So you can even pause a movie while you're watching it. Um, it's also a wonderful assistive technology. Uh, Cerebral Palsy uh, user said that it was, she's tried every one-handed keyboard on the market, and this Make or break an inventor. Be our shark and vote. Be bold and submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. Andrew, what did you think of that? That one-handed, he was starting the TV and he was starting uh, yeah, Netflix cool. and Facebook. He's operating the whole world that's with cool. a single hand. Yeah, I like it. No more double thumb in it. You know what I mean? You know, what happens if you two of them? I, I, oh my gosh, I think you can operate <laughs> two devices. You could, be, you could be running around with two devices going on at the same time. That's pretty cool. You control everything. <laughs> so, so that was Wayne in the Decatex. He's from the Tampa Bay Invention Council, a good friend of ours, uh, uh, a great guy with the Decatex. Now, the question I have to ask you, would you give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I think it's a thumbs up for sure. Yeah, Andrew gave him a thumbs up and I gave him a thumbs up. You guys, you only voted 75% thumbs up. 25% of you thought that maybe it wasn't the greatest invention in the whole wide world, but 75% of you voted thumbs up, and that was Wayne's result. Now, if you're watching on the Facebook stream, if you're watching on the YouTube stream, you may have noticed the video that's up there. This is called the Get Selling Inventor Masterclass. Now, on Thursday, at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I invite you to come on to uh, all the platforms that you're watching, the same platform you're watching right now, because I'm going to put on a, a webinar on the selling secret. I'm going to reveal the biggest mistake that inventors make, and I'm going to reveal the biggest secret that you can execute to ensure and help you sell your product. Because inventors want to get selling, right? And you know, I get the answer all question all the time: How do I get myself selling? How do I get it out there? How do I get started? Well, I'm going to get you started. I'm going to show you the secret that I use that I've sold. You know, I, I, like like I've been associated with over a billion dollars in television sales for inventions and gadgets, and I'm going to show you the secret that I 
they use. It's going to be revealed on Thursday at one o'clock. So, but you have to register. You have to register for the class. I have to. So, what I want you to do is go to the top of the Facebook page here. We've pinned it to the top, or the gadgets Facebook stream, or wherever you're doing this, and hit the uh, button on the Inventor Masterclass and get yourself registered. Get a seat, you know, while they last, because we have limited seats. Because I want to answer questions during that class. So I want to have a limited uh, audience of people who are really interested. So you bring your invention, get your questions ready, register for the class, Inventor Masterclass, Thursday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And all I can tell you, get selling. And I'm going to teach you how. I'm going to teach you how to get selling. You know, we've, we've sold a lot of stuff in our life, haven't we? Absolutely. Uh, and there, my goodness gracious, we've sold all kinds of gadgets and inventions. In fact, uh, we're going to start Andrew's career. We're going to call him the funky jazz chef. He's going to start selling kitchen <laughs> gadgets because you know why? Aside from being a fantastic musician, he's one heck of a cook. In fact, one heck of a <laughs> chef on there. Uh, nice. You know, that's the reason I have to work out every single day and try to go on diet right now because my brother's around. <laughs> we're working you know? on our body physique. Yes, yes. You know? Yeah, working on our body physique. <laughs> 100% right on there. And when we're coming down there, we're on this, yep. uh, we're on this, uh, you know, no carb type of a deal. Yeah. So uh, we've choked our carb intake and I've dropped seven pounds and I know you've dropped more. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to keep at it. So keep encouraging us because we want to get skinny, not just get selling. Now, today's inventor, we have a cool invention today. Now, today's inventor, now his name is Jerry Lastella. Okay. However, like this is a smart move. I haven't seen a lot of inventors do this. Some inventors think to themselves, hey, listen, I can't pitch my product properly why didn't i get somebody to pitch it for me very smart good move that's what keeps us in business because we're professional pitch people right yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so he's got a mike a Carruf to represent him and he's from 3d print florida so i guess we're talking to mike uh so 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 mike Carruf, welcome to the program hey thanks for having me on Okay, so you've got an invention called the threader. Okay, that was the invention. And I actually have no knowledge of what the threader is all about. So what is the threader? So it's, it's actually uh, the 4-in-1 multi-tool that not only cuts, um, sharpens blades, stores your fish hooks, and helps you thread um, fish hooks using a magnetic System. Hold on, hold on. So you're threading fish hooks, you're sharpening fish hooks, and this is the multi tool that every fisherman needs? It's a tackle box for your pocket. A tackle box in, in your, your pocket. pocket. Okay, now you got our attention. I know yeah. my dad's got his attention. Tackle box. So, so okay, tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what happens is, is, I don't know if you've ever tried to thread a fish hook. It is extremely hard to do on a boat. Or anything, yes. even on a, on a dock. So all you have to do is there's these magnets on the back. You just snap the fish hook in place that holds the hook for you. And then essentially all you have to do is, see how quickly that went through? Yeah, that was fast. We're watching on the video, oh. yeah. So you pull it through, now you got the hook on. What's the next problem that you're going to have? Trying to tie a fish hook on a line on a boat is next to impossible. And holding a refreshment at the same time is impossible. Yeah. He's spinning it. Oh, I knew you were going to spin it. He's spinning it. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then you just pull through like every fisherman knows. And he's done it. He's actually threaded the fish hook in seconds live on television here yeah. with, the, with, yeah. with the with the threader. Okay. Actually, cool. So what's the next problem? You got, you got this big filet knife and you're trying to cut the line? Yeah. No. You just use the tool. It's got a cutter right on it. So it's got a cutter on it also. Having this, you know, cut your hand. Yeah. And you're good to go. So a threader, a sharpener, a cutter, uh, a magnetic device to hold your hooks. Uh, you're right. It's a tool. It's a tackle box all in the palm of your hand. Yeah. Uh, well, what do you think? The best part is, too, is it actually holds extra fish hooks in the back. How? It's when, you, when you do lose a hooker, you actually can have your tackle right here. So, all in your pocket. Really? <laughs> wow. So who came up with this? So this is this uh, is Jerry uh, is Jerry a uh, fisherman of sorts? Jerry Jerry's a fisherman, serial inventor, man of all trades. Uh, Uncle Jerry, as we call him around around the shop. <laughs> so where is he? Out on the you boat know. right now, fishing or what? <laughs> You know, he's, he's, he's fishing in the front office, actually. But <laughs> he's fishing for customers. That's what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, essentially here, so this, this tool not only does fish hooks. I actually, I actually just gave 
important than my mother. Right. And my mom, uh, she's embroidered. So it does needle. So she's able to put her needle points right on here. <laughs> So she's and threading needles with it. Right off. So what happens is there's a real strong magnet. It holds it in place so you can line her up really easy? Yeah, there's, there's actually some spots on the back. Okay. And these are some very, very powerful magnets. Right. I mean, it's, 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 the hook isn't coming off or the needle's not coming off. So how but long... These cones, what they do is they line the fish line going through. Right. It allows this to tie, you know, to get... To, the thread the needle, so to speak. This so is a pretty cool invention. You. So obviously you're manufacturing them. You got it in the shop there. I see them all over your table there. So you're obviously manufacturing these things. And and uh, so so uh, what we're going to do with you uh, is we're going to ask you, Mike, to do a pitch after the break. So so we're going to take a little bit of a break. I want you to get think put all the thoughts in your mind. How are you going to pitch it? We're going to give you 60 seconds to pitch it to us. I want you to think of all the best points, and I want you to think of how you're going to close the deal because I want you to convince us to vote thumbs up, not thumbs down. So, yeah. so and everybody get ready to vote. So we're going to go to, everybody goes to mycoolinventions.com or if you're on the Facebook stream, you can actually just go to the My Cool Inventions Facebook page and actually there's a link there for, for voting for this thing. So after the break, we're going to hear his pitch and we're going to get ready to vote. Now, before the break, I just want to remind you, on Thursday at 1 o'clock, we're going to have an inventor masterclass, right? Uh, I've had a lot of questions on how to sell my stuff and I've watched a lot of people, a lot of inventors make a lot of mistakes and cost them a lot of money. So I decided I would reveal one of my biggest secrets on how to sell your stuff quickly. And so on 1 o'clock, but well, you have to register for this. So go on the top of the Facebook page. It's a it's pinned to the top there. Hit the registration button. because limited seats. I don't want to have a huge audience. I want people who are really interested, who really want to learn. It's a free webinar, but you have to register. So go up there, click on the Inventor Masterclass registration. And back after the break, we're going to listen to the pitch of the threader. We're always throwing those used dead batteries away. That can get pricey. And battery rechargers are big and bulky. How do we get around this problem? Hi, I'll make off the solutions to tell you that most people have a USB port and we have USB rechargeable batteries. That's right. Plug the USB AA batteries into any USB port and recharge them even lets you know with an LED indicator the status of the charge and there's a present voltage control circuit to prevent overcharging. The USB batteries can be charged up to 500 times. Now that's a lot of charges. Get these incredible USB rechargeable batteries and have charged batteries whenever you need them. Normally the USB battery sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the USB batteries are only $15.99, and you buy one, get one free, get two batteries. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490, one 888 -877 order now. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99. But today only on The Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Problem. Too many bottles, cans, or cups are dropped in the lake or they get warm on the beach before you're ready to refresh. Solution? The Floatinator. With the Floatinator, you no longer have to worry about dropping or having lake water spilled into your drink. Plus, both of your hands stay free. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist. Now you can take your drink into the lake, pool, or ocean and have your hands free at the same time. It's a cup holder with a tether line that you attach to your wrist so it floats with you. Made with a foam float ring for buoyancy, it also has a unique counterweight ballast that protects your drinks from wakes, waves, and cannonballs. Enjoy the water and your drink at the same time with the Floatinator. Buy it now. 
Normally the Floatinator sells for $39.99, but with the special promo code FLOAT, you can buy it for $29.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. You're out at night and you need some light. You didn't take a big flashlight, so now what are you gonna do? Now that is a problem, but I have the answer. Hi, I'm Make Austin the Solutionist with the Next Torch. It's the small thumb light you can put in your pocket. The Next Torch has a special white LED that is gentle to the eyes and has a reach of over 15 feet. Unlike other small light, this one even has a stand that lets you rotate the light 360 degrees. It also has a magnetic bottom plate, a bungee cord, a carabiner, which offers you countless ways to use your light. On the hood of your car, bungee to a tree limb, or just attach it to your jacket. It truly is the perfect pocket utility lantern. Normally the next torch sells for $39.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, we have it for $19.75. Go to mycoolgadgets.com or call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. I make us the solution is hiding my coffee on there because you know every morning starts with a good cup of coffee. We go to that Duncan place on the way in here. Oh know. yeah. Have you ever noticed that Duncan's? You oh, go to the yeah. coffee thing. This was it. Is it true? True or not true? Yesterday's order, we ordered the exact same thing two days in the row, and the price was different. It was two fifty six yesterday, three ten today. I, I don't know what's going on. They've got a special random <laughs> number generator for the coffee, they see and you I coming. ordered the same coffee. They see you coming. Yeah. Hey, listen, <laughs> if you're on the pro feeds right now, hey, say hello. I see a lot of people saying hello. Uh, Tony, scroll that up so I can see it. The Cole Lion says, "Cool product." I'd put that in my tackle box. James Shutt says, "Hey, your little brother's back. Very cool. He just refreshed us, so now I can't see nothing." All right, so, <laughs> so say hello to everybody. So say hello to everybody. Tell me where you're from. Uh, tell me what kind of invention you have because we love being connected with inventors uh, so just say hello on that little feed there now the threader let's get uh, let's get uh, Mike back uh, Mike Karouf yeah. back with this threader so he's got this thing it's got a fit, tackle box and you know you got a tackle box in your pocket yeah hold cool. the line I mean, we, we did a lot of fishing remember time what time we went out with the scouts there we caught like 50 bass or something oh yeah we sat there and cleaned the 50 60 bass on the big rock yeah on there I bet you we could have used this threading because we were threading the lines for like 100 kids it was ridiculous <laughs> On there, so if uh, if you're a fisherman, you got to pay attention to this pitch. So Mike, all right. So you got this threader. You got this threader. We're gonna give you 60 seconds. So that's not uh, 70 seconds, and it's not 50 seconds. You got a 60 hot seconds to pitch your product, and you have, I want everybody to get ready to vote. I want everybody to thumbs up or thumbs down. And how do you do that? Hey, you go to mycoolinventions.com. Hit the vote button. There's the thumbs up and thumbs down there. Or you go on the Facebook thing there. That all the kids are doing here. Actually, the kids I don't know what they're doing nowadays. But they're right there. Uh, there's got the voting platform right there. there on the Facebook. You can you know, click on it and vote. Thumbs up, thumbs down on the Facebook. So, Mike Karouf, representative for Jerry LaStella on the threader. Are you ready to give us your best 60-second pitch? Let's, let's do it. Tony, pull the trigger. You got any ideas? I have a great idea. Pitch it to me. Pitch it, pitch it to me. Hey, I got an idea. Well, let's hear it. Submit your product. What the heck? You could only make millions. 
All right, go vote. MyCoolInventions.com. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Steve Warp, uh, Warpo just said, those are the Glide guys. The good product for us old half-blind fishermen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take the gloves off, Andrew. You yeah. know why, right? Oh, yeah, I know All why. right, we're taking the gloves off. Yeah. Okay, Andrew, what do you think went wrong there? Well, there's a few things. I think you were just nervous. I think yeah, very first. nervous. The nerves were pretty high in that. Metronome one. on the pitch and was a little off. Right? Yeah, his, his his tempo on the pitch was a little bit slow and and quirky. And then, of course, I don't know how much it is. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, he went the distance and never told us how much it was. How much is it? It's six ninety nine. Six dollars oh, ninety nine cents. Now, see, oh. there you go. Is that hard? Now, listen, don't be ashamed of the price. Don't be afraid of the price. Get out there and ask for the order because if you do a pitch, okay, here's what I you did what I call a classic brochure pitch, which is basically you went over the features and benefits and you had a little video there going. Uh, but we had no idea how much it cost. And I'm going to pile on to Andrew's thing here. Okay, so now I know how much it costs. Here's the next question Where do I get it? Yeah. You get it from www.sqproducts.com. So www.sqproducts.com, is that what you said? No, bestqproducts.com. All right, so uh, did you get that? No. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tony says he's going to get it. So why don't you type it up there, there Tony, so I can uh, I can read it out loud. So make sure you get your website out there. Make sure you get your price out there. I think it's a really good product. We've got all kinds of positive feedback here on the on yeah. the feeds. Uh, people really, really like the old best. Best. Pqproducts.com. Well, there you go. Thank you, Tony. It's called Best, B-E-S-T, Q, as in letter Q for queen, products.com, bestqproducts.com. Go get it for $6.99. All right, Ma. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, Steve Warple uh, just said, Mike, I need a 3D printer, a uh, printing for a prototype. I guess, uh, actually, you know what, Steve? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to invite Mike on to our uh, selling segment, or, our, or not our selling segment, but the learning segment after the next pod. So the next after the next break, we're going to talk to Mike about 3D prototypes because... Uh, uh, a lot of inventors need 3D prototypes, so we're going to talk to him about that, the Imagine 3D. All right, oh, okay. so I have another thing for this guy. Yep. How do you feel about the six ninety nine price? What do, what do you think about that? I don't feel it at all. You don't feel it? You know why? Because he's leaving money on the table, right? Yep. Yeah, it should be nine ninety nine. Yep. 10 money bucks on. all day long. Yeah, I don't know why he chose six ninety nine. Maybe we should ask him. Mike, why did you try a, a, che a che cheese or chose? Why did you choose <laughs> six ninety nine? I speak for a living on television and radio. Why did you chose six ninety nine for the price? You know, I, I'm not quite sure how Jerry came up with the price on this one. Oh. <laughs> um, Good answer. It, 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 for what it does, it's your, your, you know, it's, it's four tools in one. It's, uh, it's a really good price for, okay, for such a good product. I'm going to throw I'm going to throw two pitches at you. Okay, I'm going to throw two pitches at you. I want to get your opinion. All right. So, how much is the shipping and handling? Oh, it's flexible shipping and handling. So it could re go for like three, four bucks, like eight, nine bucks, depending on where you live. All right, here's a little pitch for you. Can I can I do a pitch for you? I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit to the shipping and handling to make up for it. So I got a little little juice in the shipping and handling. I'm gonna call the shipping and handling five ninety nine. Okay, right. six bucks. So it's a little more than most, and but but I don't think the customer will notice so much. So here's a go. Ready for this? Here's the problem. Maybe you're a fisherman. You got a tackle box. You got you got hooks and lines everywhere. And who's gonna thread the line? I don't know. I can't see the line. Introducing the threader. Snap the little thing on there. You can thread it easily. And who's gonna cut the line? The threader has the line cutter. It has the knife sharpener. It stores your hooks. It's a tackle box in your pocket. And the best thing about the threader, it's nine ninety nine. That's right, nine ninety nine. But wait, there's more. If you act right now, we're not gonna give you one threader. We're gonna give you a second one for free. That's right, two of them for nine ninety nine. What do you think, Andrew? That's really good. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I'd probably do like that. Go for a bogo. Yeah, go for a bogo. Definitely. I actually even think. I actually even think here that I can. I, I, I mean, if you could give me a bung on, you know what a bung on is. <laughs> What's that? Remember, it's actually a, a, Brit a British term for throwing something extra on ah, top. Okay, okay, bung on. A bung on. So, <laughs> so what? What do you think is cheap? I think. I think fishing hooks are cheap, right? Yep. Absolutely. I think fishing line is cheap, yeah, right? Absolutely. You know what I would do? Oh, baby, I'd go to nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. But it would be a whole kit. It would have the hooks, and it'd have the line, and it'd have the weights. And I would then say, taking of a tackle box in your pocket, it's the entire tackle box. You get your hooks, you get the lines, you get the weight for nineteen ninety nine. But wait, there's more. If you buy one, you get a second one free. That's yeah. 
two for 20 bucks. You see, Mike, a $20 bill is the most common bill in the American pocket. Did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah, and it's easy to grab one and give it to somebody. And yeah. Andrew and I were talking in the break. My goodness gracious, wouldn't you love to be at the Harrisburg Sports oh, Show yeah, with this item? Like, yeah, of course. Oh, man, we would sell a ton of these at the sports shows. You got to go up to those hook and bullet shows, Mike. You got one in your neighborhood where you live? Uh, I'm in four from Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida. They got a sports show and a gun show and wow, all kinds yeah. of shows down in Naples, Florida. You got to take this out there. Hey, listen, after the break... We're going to invite Mike back because he's a 3D printing specialist, and we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, the selling secrets and how to get your uh, a prototype. And I noticed that Steve Warple's already asked, "How do I get that?" So stick around after the break. We're going to talk to Mike and vote for the guy. Go to mycoolinventions.com and vote, or go on the Facebook platform. And don't forget on Thursday at one o'clock, I got to plug the Inventor Masterclass. We're going to reveal the biggest secret and how to sell your inventions out there. So I want you to go to the pin on the top of the Facebook register for your free seat at Inventors Masterclass. You take that last sip of coffee before your meeting and you guessed it, it's all over your shirt. Now what? Hi, I make us the solutionist and you can solve that problem with the S2O stain removing pens. The S2O pen is a concentrated stain remover that you can take anywhere. Put it in your purse, pocket, or your car. The effective stain remover can remove any stain from ink, grass, cosmetics, or food off of anything. Just take the pen and rub it on the stain, and the stain is gone. Simple as that. So enjoy that cup of coffee, knowing you have the S2O pen in your pocket. Normally a three pack of S2O pen sells for $19.95. But today only on The Daily Gadget, a three-pack of S2O pens are free. You heard me right, free. Click on MyCoolGadgets.com or call us, 1-888-877-0490. Get your three-pack of S2O pens for free right now. Problem, the matches are wet, lighters damp. How are you gonna start a fire? Solution, survival steel. This simple, brilliant device ensures that you can start a fire every time, even in the rain or snow. It's safe, fast, it even could be a lifesaver. Hi, I make us the solutionist and let me tell you about survival steel. It's made from cerium, which is one of the Earth's element, and it can make a spark hot enough to set a fire to almost anything. If you've ever needed to start a fire, survival steel will do the job under any conditions. Look at this. In the rain, dripping wet, or in the middle of a snowbank, survival steel starts a fire each and every time. This 3,000 degree spark isn't red hot, it's white hot. Survival steel is a necessary tool for all outdoorsmen. Normally, survival steel sells for $19.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget. Buy one, get one free. Both for $19.99. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Those hanging baskets you bought are expensive and you see more of the basket than the flowers. That's not what you wanted. You want flowers and more flowers, not baskets. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the better basket. The Betta Basket is a unique way you plant your flowers. There are 12 holes around the lower and middle of the basket with removable panels that make it easy to plant your flowers. When done, your Betta Basket will give you a perfect flower arrangement from the start. As they grow, they will sculpt themselves into something truly amazing. It's also perfect for growing strawberries, tomatoes, and herbs. All you see are flowers, fruits, and herbs. Betta Basket normally sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, you can get it for $19.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Okay, you're exercising. You need cardio equipment, strength training equipment, and all kinds of other pieces. That's a lot of stuff, and it can be expensive. If you don't have the space or money, that can be a problem. Hi, I'll make us the solutionist with the solution, the Workout 180. This one piece of equipment incorporates strength cardio stability exercises to give you a total workout. It's not only an exercise step and balance board or a push-up bar, it also comes with resistance bands. The seven different levels allow you to reach your results by consistently increasing the band resistance. The Workout 180 is affordable and an effective way to reach your personal goal. 
Normally the Workout 180 sells for $199, but today only on the Daily Gadget, the Workout 180 is $59.75. That's $140 savings for the best workout system you can buy. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck, and that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and that can be a problem. The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield, and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick, and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on the Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to MyCoolGadgets.com. Order now. Welcome back. You're tuned into the My Cool Inventions Network. This segment's called Selling Secrets. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. Maybe you're a product developer. Maybe you're an inventor. We all come here and try to teach you a little bit about how to move your product, how to get on the market, how to get started, how to get moving. Now, Andrew, how many times have we had an inventor on here yep. who's got a great idea? Remember, like I had one, the, the reversible umbrella. The guy invents the reversible umbrella. Cool. Files for a patent hundreds of thousands of dollars later, but hasn't made one. <laughs> Not a single one. <laughs> so I got him on the phone. I go, dude, you got to make one. You know, seriously, how many inventors need to get one? Because if you have one, it's easier to sell. You know, a drawing is harder to sell than when you're holding something in your hand. Now, the so, cool thing, absolutely. now, when you and I get started, right? Yep. I mean, what do we have to do? Carve something out of a block of wood? I mean, seriously, we had to, we had to, you know, back in the old days, we're old enough to remember we had to do it the old fashioned way. But today, one of the coolest things that are happening is 3D printing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And by the way, when I first saw 3D printing, uh, I was so impressed. I went to a place, I don't know, they paid like 20, 30, 40 grand for this 3D printer. And the guy was making uh, a Lego or something. And I thought, wow, that's cool. Uh, what's it for? I think it developed into, I've seen houses being built by 3D printers. Well, yeah, you're right. Amazing. And the prices come way down. So, Amazing. So, and you know what else you need? You need a, like a real expert at 3D printing. Now, we've got a, yeah. one of our inventor representatives, Mike Carruth, is on the line here. And let's get him back on the program. Mike, welcome back to uh, My Cool Inventions Network. Thanks for having me back. So tell me about 3D printing. What's going on in 3D printing, and how is this such a great tool for inventors? Okay, so when you have an idea, and, and you, before you make it into a product, when, you know, like you said, before you had a car out of wood, um, if you wanted a good representation of your product, you'd, ha you'd have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a mold. Right. right. What 3D printing does is allows you to make a tangible product in days rather than weeks. So days what rather allows you to do is cost effectively make iterations of your product and test. So do you have do you have three D printing in your works. do you have three D printer in your shop though? Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that you could do with three D printing, and it just helps you dial in your your bottle very quickly. So, so uh, Tony, one, it's it pulls audio back a little bit, so he's not um, like, like, like he's a little muffled there. So, do you have Mike a three D printer in your shop? We we have twenty five. You have twenty five three D printers in your shop. Yes, sir. Wow. Do you have one behind you? Can, you? can can we see one? Is there something we can actually see? So that's he's got one behind him there. If you're watching the video, he just walked back away from his mic, and he's got one back there. It doesn't look very big. So do they come in different sizes, Mike? Do 3D printers come in different sizes? Andrew mentioned yeah. uh, Andrew yeah. mentioned they're building houses with them. Oh, he's 
Oh, okay. So that's a bigger one behind you. Wow. You have 25 3D printers there. Now, uh, Steve Warpal, are you still there, Steve? If you are, just a message there. Um, now, he's looking for a prototype. He's got some invention probably, and he wants a prototype made. So what does it take to get you guys to make a prototype? So you get an NDA. So what he said. So what he said. He said you have to have a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. Is that what you said? Yes, sir. All right. So that's what that means. If you're not, if you're listening, what that means is is it protects the inventor. Mike just basically promises not to share that idea with anybody. He's not. You're you're not going to. It's mutual, probably two-way NDA. You're not going to reveal any secrets that Mike might give you. So basically, you're bound. It's like the cone of silence and get smart. Wow. Start coming down on you. Right. Okay, so you got the NDA part. Now, what happens next? Okay, so after the NDA, you'll pitch your idea to me. And what we'll do is to gauge what, what could be included, what, what needs to be thing. Okay, so your, so your audio, Mike, your, Mike, like, your, Mike, your audio is coming. So your mic, your audio is coming in garbled a little bit. So uh, uh, why don't you repeat that for me again? So, so what we do is when you come coming for a console, we'll talk about your idea. And we'll, we'll look at your idea and see what we can improve, what could be done differently, and what else could your invention be used for. Now, consequently, sometimes an invention, you know, an invention that comes in for one thing works better as something completely different. It's kind of having, nice having fresh eyes on a project like that. So basically what you're doing, the, I, I want to repeat what you're saying, just in case on the radio, if you're driving around, you didn't hear Mike. So you go into his place. He does a consultation. Uh, obviously, these guys are really, really uh, uh, professionals, and they have a lot of uh, experience in these inventions. So he consults with you. Maybe he makes the right improvements some, because now he's looking at it from a manufacturer's point of view and a prototyping point of view. So you give him a consultation and try to help improve the invention. Have I got that right? Okay, good. So what happens next? Okay, so after we get the invention portion done, and we start, talk, we start talking about feasibility, manufacturability, can you make this in mass quantity? Uh, then we start cash designing the product. So we'll actually physically make your product in 3D using free software. So you've got this great... From a visual standpoint, we can start seeing things in at that point. All right, I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to repeat it again, Mike, because I know your like, audio is a little challenging. So, so basically, you've got this great software. So you've got a team of experts who now design and lay out the drawings and the software so that 3D machine can start working properly, right? No, it's worse. It's worse. So we're looking at the video. So what appears to happen, who does the drawings? I mean, who's the one who, who takes the inventor's idea from maybe a patent or a prototype idea drawing on a napkin or something? And, and then who, who physically makes those super uh, you know, programs that the, runs the 3D machine? Who does that? So we have, we, well, myself and we have in, in-house um, CAD designers that work, work with us. So a CAD designer uh, takes the idea, and then you guys develop it into a software, and I guess then what happens is the 3D printer, after it's perfect, spits out a prototype. That's correct. Wow. And how much does that cost someone? I, like, I, don't, I, I actually have no idea yeah. uh, how much this costs. In fact, in fact, let's just use as a typical example. Steve Warple, these are the Glide guys, really super smart guys. They're furniture movers uh, invention. There are these little glides. Now, he's got a two and a half inch glide for bed. So what he wants to do is create a prototype for a two and a half inch glide. Uh, it goes like a silicone thing that goes under the bed. Uh, how much would that cost him to get from start to finish on a prototype? looking at it, 3D printing is priced out by size. Okay. So the bigger the product, the more expensive it costs to make. Um, a glide for a bed would probably only take us a few hours to design, um, and we probably wouldn't have to go through mul uh, multiple generations. So the design time would actually be, you know, a minimum. Um, so 
cost, you know, the cost of it would be you're probably looking at anywhere between 250 to 500 for design. Okay. Um, the 3D yeah. print itself for a pad that goes underneath a bed that's relatively small would yeah. be anywhere from five to fifty dollars at the most, depending on what material you're using. So, did I just hear you correctly? It's basically two hundred to five hundred bucks for a, for a prototype of this. That's correct. Oh, that's pretty oh. cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hey, if an inventor, an inventor wanted to get a hold of you and to talk to you about, consult with you about these uh, prototypes, how do they get a hold of you, Mike? They, they can go to my website, which is uh, 3dprintfl.com. So 3dprintfl.com, is that what you said? That's correct. Uh, Tony, you want to put that up there for us? A 3dprintfl.com. So that's cool. So there's the Steve's answer. So Steve, uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks, I guess, uh, maybe up to five, depending on how much design work is involved. Um, that's cool. Maybe we'll use you for some prototyping because uh, that's a great, uh, that's a very reasonable price. Yeah. I love that idea. Um, the other thing I want to ask you, how big can you get? Like, like Andrew said they were printing houses. So how big can you get? Well, machine to the right of us, behind us, can actually print uh, six feet long, what? four feet wide, and six feet tall. What? But well, generally speaking, if you're going that large, you're probably not in a 3D print anymore. Wow, six feet long, three, wow, that's wow. huge. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So you guys, I guess you can get big prototypes. Next time I want a prototype canoe, I'm coming out to you. <laughs> on there. Okay, Steve Warpel just asked, right. what if the invention, he's asking about his glide, that bed glide he was talking about, it has four parts. Now, I think I know this glide because it's got, he's got a way to prevent the angle. He takes in consideration any angles. So how much would it cost if the, if the invention had four parts to it? Do you think, how much more would it cost, uh, Steve, to do that? Okay. Um, without giving Steve's invention over the phone, um, it doesn't necessarily cost more. It's just depending on how everything fits together. Okay. So, so uh, Steve, uh, why don't you contact Mike directly at 3dprintfl.com. Uh, maybe, uh, Tony, you can connect email addresses or something to these guys, too, right? Um, there. Actually, let's throw this e if, you, if you don't mind, let's throw your email address for all the inventors to see. Uh, mm -hmm. Mike, what's your email address? Florida at gmail.com. 3D print f Florida, spelt out, Florida? Yes, sir. 3D print Florida at gmail.com. Throw that up there, too, Tony. That's pretty interesting. Yep. So there you go, cool. inventors. It's uh, it's not a big threshold. I thought, I actually, honestly, gosh, I thought the guy was going to say two, three grand. Yeah, me too. 500 bucks. It was like two, five, two to 500 bucks. What? That's that's what I'll throw some work at you too, Mike. I got yeah. all kinds of ideas for two, three, five hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And there, wow. Well, though, there, we learned something about 3D printing. Yeah, we did. Hey, Mike, thanks very much for being on the program. That's an awesome, awesome uh, little, uh, you've inspired us right now. So all you inventors, get inspired. You know, maybe you got something on a piece of paper. You want to do a prototype? Because prototypes matter. You put something in somebody's hand, you can sell it quicker, sell it easier. You're, you're way ahead of the game. So there you go. Selling secrets. How to do a 3D printer. And by the way, if you're an inventor, you want to get on our program, submit to My Cool Inventions. Com. Hit the submit button because maybe you have the next $100 million idea. You clumsy idiot, you ruined the car! Stop. Stains are out. Stop the screaming with Stains Are Out. Oh my gosh, this is the greatest stuff ever. Thank you so much, Banana Man. What's that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Learn the secrets of bananas in my Stains Are Out at StainsAreOut.com. Problem, you're jogging and dehydrated from lack of water. That small water bottle attached to your waist is empty and hot and uncomfortable. Solution, the hydro water bottles. These ergonomically designed bottles encourage proper form and posture while running and walking. They provide upper body exercise and hydration. Hi, I'm Acos the Solutionist, and let me tell you, these hydro water bottles are fantastic. You get two 16-ounce insulated bottles with easy-to-hold handles, making them easy to carry. The two pounds of water weight will exercise both arms while jogging. You can even add more weight. Run better, exercise better, feel better with the hydro water bottles. Buy it now. 
Normally the Hydro water bottles sell for $49.99, but with the special promo code H2O, you can buy them for $39.75 for the next seven days. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Charging devices in the great outdoors in extreme conditions is always a dilemma. How do you charge your phone, tablet, or maybe that light? It can be a real problem. Not anymore. Hi, I'm Akos Solutionist with the Extreme Tactical Power Bank. This power bank is portable, rugged power source, uniquely constructed with an integrated 18,000 milliamp battery. It's waterproof, shockproof, and dustproof, perfect for your next invasion. It has two USB outboard ports to charge two devices simultaneously. It even has a short circuit protection. The four LED indicators show battery life and status. The Extreme Tactical Power Bank also has a 30 meter torchlight, perfect for spotting your enemies. This power bank lets everyone enjoy the outdoors without worry. Normally the Extreme Power Bank sells for $99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, 59 bucks. Call 1-888-877-0490, go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, there's one or two times in the day you want to feel clean, but that isn't always the case. Solution, Bob's Butt Wipes. Their all-natural paraben-free formula ensures that you will be fresh and clean. Without exposure to harsh chemicals, it features a unique hanging dispenser that installs in seconds on your toilet paper holder. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and let me tell you, you can trust Bob's Butt Wipes to keep you clean. These wipes are biodegradable and dispense in under three minutes so your sewer system will remain clog free. You can easily put them into a specially designed dispenser or take them with you on trips. They come in a variety of designer containers for the children or the outdoorsmen. Check out Bob's Butt Wipes for yourself. Wipes that work as hard as you do. Normally the Bob's Butt Wipes sell for $19.75, but today only on the Daily Gadget, buy one, get one free. Call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Problem, it's raining and cold and you need to start a fire, but everything's wet. Solution, survival wood. This one piece of wood can save your life. Just chip some pieces from the stick and ignite it. It'll even burn when soaking wet. Then it burns hot, just add some more survival wood. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist and that's exactly how you save your life. By starting a fire to keep you warm or signaling for help. Survival wood is made from the Guatemalan pine, rich in resin. It's a light wood that can be cut easily with the grain. Just a few chips will start a fire for you in any condition, in the rain or in the snow. But if you're in bad weather, a match or lighter may not work. Check out survival steel that can ignite the survival wood under all conditions. In the great outdoors, always have survival wood with you. Normally, three pounds of survival wood sells for $19.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $9.75. Just call 1-888-877-0490 or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Are you kidding me? Stop. Stains are out. Stop the yelling with Stains Are Out. From zero to hero, thank you. Who was that banana man? Saving the world one stain at a time. Banana Man knows the secret and my stains are out. You can too at stainsareout.com. Here's the problem. You're camping, you're at home, the lights go out, you're in the dark, you grab your flashlight, and the batteries are dead. What do you do now? Solution? The solar-powered light bulb flashlight and solar-powered lantern right here in my hand. All you have to do is the lights go out, you pop it up simple and easy, and poof, you've got full light. You know why? Because there's no battery inside. It charges with solar power, and you can charge it with a USB. Now you have light wherever you want it. You never have to buy batteries. Now, normally the solar power light sells for $19.99, and it's a great value. You can hang it wherever you want to. Maybe you're camping, maybe you're hunting, maybe Maybe you're fishing, maybe you put this in your garage and get this. Are you ready for this? It's also a power bank. It actually fuels up your cell phone and stuff when you're not looking. All right, now today's today's uh, wag is $9.75, not $19.99, but $9.75 on mycoolgadgets.com. Ultra Bite Mini Survival Lander and Power Bank for $9.75 on mycoolgadgets.com. Well, 
Do you see that? Wow, cool. Take a look at that. Take a look at that, Andrew, because that, that thing is uh, kind of cool there. What have, what have I done there? I slapped so it to awesome. the ground there. I slapped ah. it to the ground. So what happens is this thing, I'm going to show the video there. There he goes. Andrew's got it there. See how you pop it up and it's got the light right inside? Yeah, it's, it's got cool. a bunch of LEDs inside, right? Yeah. And you pop it up and down. That's what turns it on and off. You pop one up, pop one down. That's what turns it on simple and easy. And take a look at the top here because there is a solar panel on the top. I mean, how cool is that? No. I mean, there's always light around, right? Yeah. On there. Why would you buy a battery when God gave us one in the sun? Just harness the sun power right on the top there, and it, ch and it charges up the uh, battery pack on the bottom there. It's a lithium battery. Yep, cool. And you know what else is cool on that? In fact, that you have light all the time. Did you check this out? You see the USB port right here? You can actually charge your cell phone. Cool. I mean, can you imagine? So that's a kind of a cool thing. You've got a power charger for your phone, like an extra charger, an extra yep. battery for your phone. You've got it light wherever you want it, right? It turns on and off. You can actually, uh, you can actually just pop it up. You got light every time. In fact, the, remember the other day we came up here, uh, the the uh, some squirrel or something got into the power transformer. Oh yeah. We had no lights up here. Had to use these. Yeah, we had. The, Dodie had these lined up like runway lights coming up the stairs all around the office. These are fantastic. So if you do a little camp. Do a little fishing, do a little hunting, you going out there. Watch this. He plugs in his cell phone. I love this thing. It's actually charging. Poof! Charging his cell phone. Wow. For $9.75. Are you kidding me? Why wouldn't you get the solar power uh, uh, a lantern yep. for $9.75? Go to mycoolgadgets.com. That's our today's wag. We call it the wag because it's what a gadget. And, you know, I love the word wag because it reminds me of a dog wagging his tail. And I always say bark less, wag more. And that's what we like about my cool gadgets. It's always fun here. What do you think, dude? It's cool. <laughs> so remember when we were in scouts and stuff, we had, what we, what we used to do? We used to have propane. Remember those propane? Or worse, we had the kerosene lanterns. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe we're still alive. I mean, how many tents did we catch fire? We had a couple tents go down. Um, I had a, actually, I had a campsite go down in Europe. I don't know. Were no, you there? Yeah, I was there. Were you there? I was like 10 oh, years my, old. I 10, oh, my gosh. We were in Europe, in Germany. We had a, on a scout camp, and the camp went up on fire. Somebody was uh, messing with kerosene. These kerosene lanterns used to be all around. Thank goodness we don't do that anymore. Uh, now we have uh, uh, lithium-ion batteries. However, yeah. let me tell you about the lithium-ion batteries. These are the uh, approved lithium-ion batteries because, you know, for a time there, uh, you know, people like the hoverboards and the Samsung phone. Remember how these things erupt on a flyer? <laughs> So these are actually UN 38.3 approved lithium ion batteries, which is really cool. Uses hardly any electricity whatsoever. I, I think you like the way it goes up and down, don't you? It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's got, also got a handle. You can hang it up here just like that. Now, let me ask you, too. When we were kids camping and stuff, I and mean, we didn't have cell phones, and we didn't have things that you needed charging. Right. Right? But isn't this a, isn't this a great thing that you have the USB port? You can charge up your Absolutely. phone? Absolutely. <laughs> The next time you're out fishing, hunting, camping, uh, and your phone goes dead, that's basically my phone goes dead at night, right? Because yep. that's the, I've run the whole day without my battery, right? And I've got a I've got a, a bat, an extra battery for my phone sitting right there. And can you believe the price? Nine dollars and seventy five cents. Amazing. Are you kidding me? Ten bucks, less than ten bucks. Buy two. You go to mycoolgadgets.com. Yeah, you know what? You know you know what? Camping season's coming up. Fourth of July is coming up. The 5th of July is coming up. The whole summer is coming up, right? Yeah. So you want to be able to uh, get outside and uh, pull that up. I think, our, I think our dad on the end of the dock would like that. Oh, he'd love one, for sure. He's out there fishing in the middle of the night all the time, I can tell you. The, by the way, Dad, I hope you're good. Uh, he was here visiting, and uh, he ended up in the water at the end of the dock. Uh, yeah. And dislocated his shoulder. Uh, then, you know, as like all 80-year-old people does, he relocated it right there in the spot. Yeah, and on didn't the way go out. To, and didn't go to a doctor. Because apparently that's what you do when you're 80 years old. Because, you know, you fix it yourself. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so uh, good luck, Dad. He's a great fisherman, but he would love this. Yep. He was also our scout leader, too. My goodness, we had the scout camp out there, 100 kids oh, out, yeah. in the, out in the dangerous wilderness with bears and trees and alligators and crocodiles and tigers and lions and crocodiles. giraffes on there. You know, Where were we? <laughs> giraffes. Actually, we were making fun because here in Florida, you know, we're Boy Scouts. So we, we, we were driving down Alligator Alley, and there's like a picture of a campsite. Yeah. I'm thinking there's thousands of alligators around. Who's camping? Like, like, like who's ca <laughs> All right, Martha, let's get out and get the tent out. On there, on there. Go get the picnic ready. I'll fire up the stove. The gator who's traps. camping in Alligator Alley, you know? Uh, I think you might need uh, more than just this uh, solar-powered lantern if you're camping in Alligator Alley. You might need a solar-powered laser gun. <laughs> also. Uh, but, you know, normally this is $19.99, 20 bucks, and we have it on sale for $9.75. Go to my cool 
coolgadgets.com. That's a cool gadget. Yep. Uh, I love mycoolgadgets.com because where are you going to get a lantern? It's really solid. Uh, it's got the it's got the solar panel on the top of it, and it's charging the battery that you can use to charge your cell phone. Yep. You know what? There's a power outage. We have a tornado or a hurricane or a zombie apocalypse, or the, the power is no. probably going to go out, right? And if the power is out, well, the first thing you need you need a little light, and of course you need to keep in touch with people, so you have to get your cell phone charged on there. Although in a zombie apocalypse, I'm not sure how many cell phones are going to be used. No, uh, no. You know. But in the hurricanes and the tornadoes, it's uh, kind of important. Uh, we had we you know we all here in Florida, you know, it's the lightning capital of the world, and you know, crack, boom, there goes your power generator. Next thing you know, neighborhoods out of out of power. Yeah, remember that growing up? Yeah, crack. Oh, there goes the lights for a little while until they reset it. This is a great idea. Solar powered lantern, really cool design. Mm -hmm. Flip it up, turn it on. Flip it down, turn it off. That's what Andrew's doing. It up and down, just like that. I think every kid's gonna love that. And it's got a battery to charge your cell phone. Normally nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Nine bucks, nine bones, nine seventy-five. Uh, MyCoolGadgets.com. Uh, get there right now. We only have a few of them. This is not an unlimited offer. We only have a few. Uh, we have a bunch of samples around the office, and that's why the price is so, so, so low. Uh, they're a good, good, de good demo. And Andrew's our professional demonstrator. That's right. On there. On there. You know, we, we, made, we made a mistake here. You know, we made a mistake. Uh, you know, we got to talk to Tony. I would have loved to have a double drop on this. I think this should have been nineteen ninety-nine. Yeah. Buy one, get yeah, one, free. free shipping. Yeah. Which is, by the way, it's it's actually less money than that because a single one's nine seventy five, free shipping. So uh, go to mycoolgadgets.com. Yeah. Get the solar powered lantern. Ultra have, bright. Have you ever gone to my cool gadgets? I've, I have. There are cool things up there. All yeah. kinds of cool stuff in there. You know what really fascinated me the other day? I was looking at that site and I found. You know, I was uh, helping with the laundry. You know, we got we had the laundry machine going there all yep. the time. And uh, we have fitted sheets. Now, remember, I I'm old enough to remember when we didn't have a fitted sheets. It wasn't invented yet. No. So we wake up in the morning with our face on the mattress. So I'm thankful that somebody invented the elastic band fitted sheet, but nobody can fold them. <laughs> you have to be some kind of an engineering a des a designer to a degree to have actually folding of fitted sheets. And one of our invented inventors, Ken Alley, invented a folding wand for fitted sheets. Cool. It's up there. I tell you, like it. cool stuff up there. Full fitted sheets to power your cell phone from the sun for 10 bucks and also have a lantern to go with the solar power on there. Always cool things on my cool gadgets. And that's today's wag. What a gadget. 975 mycoolgadgets.com. Have a great day. And what I always say, wag more, bark less on the My Cool Inventions Network. Problem. It's an emergency. You're stuck in the car with no power. The windows are up, the doors are locked, and it's 95 degrees. What do you do? Solution, the tactical pen. Anybody can break the window without hurting themselves. Grip the tactical pen and tap the window and it'll break. No need to hit the glass with your fist or elbow. And also it has many other functions. Hi, I'm Mikos. The solution is here to tell you that the tactical pen is the superman of pens. The tip is made of tungsten steel and it's designed to break any window with one tap. It also serves as a deterrent against your assailant. And here's the best part, it's a perfect pen. You can even write upside down with its Fisher Space cartridge. Break out, protect yourself, even write a note with the tactical pen. The tactical pen sells for $59.99, but today only on the Daily Gadget, $29.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadgets.com. You have beautiful potted flowers, and they're all on the patio ground where you really can't see them. And you have that fence that is plain and empty. Hi, I make us the solutionist with the perfect solution, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook. These hooks were created to bring your potted plants up off the ground to eye level where they're in plain view. And they'll make that fence beautiful with flowers all around. The Flower Pot Perfect Hook is made to hold most potted plants that have a lip. Make your yard, garden, and patio beautiful with flowers. Normally, the Flower Pot Perfect Hook sells for $29.99, but today only on The Daily Gadget, get four hooks and two support arms, all for $14.75. That's only $14.75. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or click on mycoolgadgets.com. Order now. Your car is as hot as heck. And that stupid folding thing keeps falling down, not protecting the inside of your car at all. Hi, I'm Akos the Solutionist, and that can be a problem. 
The solution? The Keep Cool Sunshade. With this sunshade, you simply attach it to the windshield with suction cups on the passenger side, pull it across the windshield and hook it on the other cup on the driver's side. Done. Easy, quick and no mess from that flicking cardboard folding thing. The answer to keeping your car cool the easy way is their self-retracting Keep Cool Sunshade. Normally one Keep Cool Sunshade sells for $19.95, but today on The Daily Gadget, half price, $9.75. Not only that, the next 50 customers will buy one, get one free, still only $9.75. To boot, free shipping. Call 1-888-877-0490. That's 1-888-877-0490. Or go to mycoolgadgets.com. Order now.